Hey guys, here's a new Unity video about an AI to flee from an enemy implemented with the Nav Mesh and Z Sharp. Here's again my low poly game kit and the sheep that I created with Blender and currently it is just standing there playing the idle animation, but I want it to run away when the player comes close to it. The first thing you have to do is to add a Nav Mesh for the terrain parts that you want the player and the sheep to walk on. In this case you can select all terrain parts, open the navigation tab and make sure the navigation static option is checked. Ok, then you can go ahead and bake the nav mesh and the parts turn blue. These are the parts the nav mesh agents can use for navigation. The next thing I do is to select a sheep model and add such a nav mesh agent and I just keep the default values. Perhaps I will tweak them in a later step, but for now I keep the defaults. And to make the sheep run away from the player now, I wrote a little C sharp script that I attach here to the sheep. The script has a public field called player to which I assign the player now. Ok, let's first start the game and test this. You can see when the player is close to the sheep, it is moving away from him. Of course the walk animation is missing, I will add this later on, but now let's have a look at the script. It is called sheep and derives from mono behavior and it has a private navmesh agent and a public game object for the player attached. Another public property is the enemy distance run that indicates at which distance the sheep should run away from the player. In the start method I get the navmesh agent component and in the update method the runaway the flee logic is implemented. First I get the distance from the player to the sheep and if the distance is lower than the enemy distance run I calculate the current vector from the sheep to the player and add this to the current position vector of the sheep. This defines the new vector, the new position that the sheep should run to and this new position I set as destination for the navmesh agent. And that's all, now I apply these changes to the prefab and to make it work for the other sheep as well, I just select them and assign the player object to the player slot of the sheep script. Then I start the game and when the player is close to a sheep, you can see that it moves away from him. Alright, that's it for the flea AI, a very simple logic and script. In the next part I will add a walk or run cycle animation to the sheep to make it look more realistic. I really hope you find this video useful and interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe in this case. And if you want to help the game kid and my channel grow, please consider supporting me on my Patreon. Thanks for this, thanks for watching and see you on JNM.